Hello. For those uh, who are viewing this, uh, please check the notes on the uh, this YouTube link. It uh, it will also the uh, web links I have also included. Uh, if you like the video, please share it with anyone, or you can leave a comment or uh, subscribe if you like. Uh, what I have here in front of me is a compact Presario. Uh, it was uh, at the time I bought it in 2009. It was uh, compact was uh, more or less merged with uh, Hewlett Packard, so. The trade name of Compact doesn't really exist anymore. Uh, when I bought it brand new, it came with Windows Vista and and with Norton Utilities uh, for virus protection. Over the years, I kept everything upgraded and also um, Norton Utilities for the Windows Vista. At some point, of course, Windows no longer supports Vista and now there's no support even for virus software either with Norton Utilities or McAfee. Uh, believe it or not, before I installed um, Linux on here, it would actually still boot up to uh, Vista. Problem is, I couldn't uh, sign into um, the Wi-Fi because the field was too short. Uh, it's a 32-bit with 1 gig of RAM and 500 gig uh, hard drive. Hard drive works. So, what I'm about to show you is what uh, I was able to do with this thumb drive I purchased from um, Extra PC. I'll have the web link on there. But uh, you'll definitely need an internet connection. In the case of this PC, uh, since the Wi-Fi was not working, I use an Ethernet connection that I have. To make the connection I basically plugged in this uh, their thumb drive in and then I plugged in the Ethernet cable to my computer and then started up and booted off the thumb drive and I'm about to demonstrate on how that works the only other thing issue I ha have I'm gonna turn this mouse on I, I use an external mouse because it's just easier than using the pad is the battery the battery was not even recognized uh, by uh, Vista mind you this is 11 years old uh, PC uh, I uh, <clears throat> and this is the only thing I'm having a hardware issue it's just it's just not seen uh, under um, uh, Windows Vista but uh, what I'm about to do I'm going to show you the process of how I boot up to uh, extra PC and sign into the internet so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to press the power button then press or tap the escape key I'm going to move this card out of the way here here we go. I'm going to turn it on. This is June of 2020, so this PC is 11 years old. So I'll turn it on and tap, 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 tap. And what I get is this right here. I'm going to press F9, which is um, this right here. And what I have on the screen is three options. Uh, first is the DVD. The second one is the hard disk itself, which still works. And I'm going to go to the sand disk uh, uh, that's plugged in on my um, USB. Um, so I'm going to press enter. And this is where the magic begins here. Basically, it was real easy to install. This is how I started to set it up. You'll definitely need to, an internet connection if you are going to use extra PC. I'm tempted to look at other options with uh, Linux as well. Now, I paid $79.99 or $80 if you just add. That includes sales tax and uh, posts and shipping. It was shipped out of Denver, Colorado. 
and we're still waiting here just uh, just give it a moment there it is it's going to ask for my password in just a moment which it does in fact so one moment hold on just a moment I just logged in and you might see the desk icons I have on here I got Google Chrome installed on it 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 does give you some features now what I'm going to do next here very gracefully I'm going to uh, let's see go to my Wi-Fi at the lower right corner and click on it I'm going to check the box that says enable Wi-Fi if you uh, can't see that right there I'm going to check it and uh, once I do Uh, it says a uh, connection is established. I'm on on the Wi-Fi. In fact, you can look at the logo at the bottom and see I got at least four out of five bars, which is not bad. If I were to click on the uh, Wi-Fi again, you see it tells you where the name the SSI that I'm connected to, which is my local AT&T but it does work it gave this PC a new lease on life and if I open Google I have to right click here and tell it to open and let's see what comes up Google and I'm gonna type just weather And it's probably going to give me a, a geolocation uh, which for, for Nashville where I'm, or Bell's Bend is where it's coming up. It, it's asking me if I, uh, it wants to know my location. I'm going to block it for now. But Bell's Bend is very close to me. I'm not in Bell's Bend, but I'm in, in a different community. But it's 84 degrees. We're expecting 96 degrees Fahrenheit. It is hot here. But I want to show this to you. If you like this video, like I said, please leave your comments or subscribe or share it with someone who is has an old uh, notebook PC or desktop PC that, that's, that will still boot up. Or even if it doesn't boot up, even if the hard disk has crashed, you can still use this uh uh, thumb drive from uh, extra PC. For now, I'm going to end this. I hope you have a great day where you may be. Thank you. Bye for now.